The boys will now have the chance to drink its blood. If you drink that, you're the man, Nathan. I'm not even on that. I'm not even on that. that. Bon appetit. <laughs> in a way, it's a curse from the snake. There's an element of you which is very much an animal. And they can play up. In the evolution of the being, snake is a very important step. That's a reason why in India, if you happen to kill a snake, you give it a funeral. No. Don't drink it like don't, that. Uh, don't savour it. <laughs> it is right. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. A chicken gets killed before it's eaten. A pig gets killed before it's eaten. A cow gets killed before it's eating. There's nothing wrong with killing a cobra before it's eaten. I saw nothing against that. A cobra would kill you in a heartbeat if it had the chance and it, and it wanted to. When I open my eyes, a dozen snakes are sitting here. They're just drawn to that chemistry. When your chemistry changes, they just know when it comes. They can get you certain cases of skin ailment. Do what you want. You cannot diagnose what it is. For sure you cannot cure with your medicine. Whatever kind of medicine you can. And it's not very rare. It's, it's quite on in many ways. So, there are certain other aspects in nature which affects one's health. There is in our body, the five elements on a subtler level have manifested themselves as panchaprana, so the five forms of basic energy in the system. One aspect of it is very directly and closely related to what would happen to a snake. To understand this, we have to see it this way. It is only in your mind that you think you are a separate piece of life. As far as this planet is concerned, you, the insect, the worm, the snake, the elephant, the buffalo and the tree and everything is same. It just throws itself out in many different ways and sucks it back. So you have ideas about yourself. Similarly, ant has ideas about itself. As far as the earth is concerned, it bursts out in the form of various types of lives and sucks it back when it's time. All your ideas, no matter what kind of ideas you have about yourself, when the mother earth decides to suck you back, where do your ideas go? You could have written a book, somebody else reads it and gets confused. But all of them, all kinds, have been sucked back, isn't it? Every kind. As far as the earth is concerned, you, the worm, the insect, the snake, the bird, the tree, it's all the same stuff. The idea that I am this is your idea. No matter who you are, it will suck you back and need you as a part of itself. Nobody has gone anywhere else except here, isn't it? So, the energy is the same, the material is the same. You and the snake, you and the insect are made the same way. So nobody can claim it is all, that you are something distinct life. It is not distinct life, it is, even according to science you can see, all of us are made of carbon as far as... Hmm? Are you made of silicon? So, it is all the same stuff, made the same way. From a single cell in a leaf, in a plant, to yours, it's not very really different, it's just evolution. A little different grade, that's all. Same stuff. So, because of certain reasons, it so happens that your Vyana, Vyana Vayu or the Vyana Prana behaves in a certain way. So, your skin becomes like that of a reptile. So, when that happens, we say you have 
Navadosha. So when we say Sarpadosha, we are talking about the energy. It's become like that of a reptile. Do you know in your brain, is a reptilian brain. You have about this size of your brain, is that of a reptile. Within your brain, there is a brain which is about the size of a, something like a crocodile's brain. All this is not human brain, there's a reptilian brain inside. So that reptile can manifest itself because your energies begin to function in a certain way and that can be relieved by doing certain things. Now I'm talking about this energy changing in a certain way, your reptilian brain and all this. In a way, it's a curse from the snake. When you get it, it's a curse, isn't it? When you have it, it is very much a curse, isn't it? So this is just a, a dialectical expression. It is not that some snake is sitting somewhere and cursing you, but there is an element of you which is very much a reptile. There is an element of you which is very much a fish. There's an element of you which is very much an animal. And they can play up. Nobody can deny, even modern science cannot deny that all these animals exist within you in some dormant form, isn't it? The evolutionary process is very much present in the body and uh, they can come alive for various reasons. It is a curse from the snake. Curse from the snake does not mean there is a snake sitting outside and cursing you. There is a snake sitting inside and cursing you. And in the evolution of the being, snake is a very important step. And because of that, that's a reason why in India, if you happen to kill a snake, you give it a funeral, you know. People actually give it a funeral, you know. Yeah, yes, they put a coin, a milk, pea, whatever. Whatever you do for the people, a human being, you do that because uh, it is closely related to you on one level. Well, modern expression is you have a reptilian brain. The yogic expression is in the evolution of the being, snake is an important step. So you have to keep it in a certain way, otherwise it will come alive with you. This is one creature where its life energy is not individual. It is universal to its whole plants. What is significant about this is, Snake is one creature, if you do not know this, it's stone deaf, you know this? All snakes are stone deaf, they, they don't have hearing mechanism at all. So, it literally has ear to the ground, its entire body is to the ground feeling reverberations. To what extent means, let's say there is going to be uh, an earthquake somewhere in Central Asia, if you just observe a cobra today, let's say in the next three days there's going to be something happening. If you observe a cobra, how he behaves, you know there's going to be an earthquake. If you study it sufficiently, you can even indicate the direction in which it's going to happen and an approximate distance. Whether it's going to happen hundred kilometers away, thousand kilometers away or three thousand kilometers away, you can make an approximate guess like a meteorological science, you can observe because He's got his entire body to the ground, even the smallest reverb that he feels, he behaves differently. So in that context, he is very perceptive. And he is also chemically very perceptive. The only way he knows you is by your chemistry. Because of a certain campaign, snake has become evil. But even that campaign uh, is not uh, a complete uh, success because it contradicts itself. For example, if you take the story of Adam and Eve, there was a dumb couple who did not know what to do and a snake arrived and it initiated life. Someone who initiates life upon this planet, it's up to you whether you call him the agent of the divine or call him the agent of the devil. If you are for life, you would definitely call him as the agent of the divine. If you are anti-life, then you would call him as the agent uh, of the devil. 
研究さ。